Greetings, greetings, all my dreamers and dreamex. It's your boy Mickey Fenty, aka Mickey Made It. If you're new to this channel, you know what to do to this channel. Subscribe right now. Also, if you want to support the brand, it's inspired by dreams dot shop okay today we're talking about this is going to be part two from the first one i did the smash and grab because this one right here this is a smash and grab as well as home invasion and it's just a crisis going on in our society and i just wanted to bring you guys some light and shed some light on what's going on in these situations and some some things you can do to just take heed of all of this and just make your family safe Get your video cameras make sure you have everything in place when it comes down to having some per your personal items or people just invading your space you got to protect yourself out there so if you're new to this channel you guys make sure you subscribe now we're getting this channel all the way up it's a new channel let's get it let's go it's your boy mickey Smash and grab thieves steal thousands of dollars in high-end watches from a jewelry store. This is Newport Beach. The smash and grab robbery happened last Friday at Jewelers on Time. Crazy. That was about 4 o'clock in the afternoon. Surveillance video captured the robbery. A man inside the store appeared to hold a security gate open for three thieves. They rushed dollars. in the front door. The store owners say the thieves made off with about $260,000 worth of watches in that heist. Two Rancho Co Thieves, their shocking crime all caught on video. Take a look, it shows a passenger jump out of a black Honda Accord in San Francisco in the middle of the road with the car oh, still no, moving. He then smashes yeah, the oh, rear yeah. window of that oh, Prius on the yeah. left and pulls out a bag full of camera gear. This all happened yesterday afternoon on the 8th Street on-ramp to I-80 eastbound. The driver of the Tesla captured it on his car's camera. The black Honda Accord was following the Prius for an extended period of time. So it definitely was premeditated, and it seems like the Black Honda Accord owners um, likely followed them from maybe a, a video shoot or something. Now I spoke to the robbery victims, a husband and wife who are real estate photographers and were on a shoot near Dolores Park. They say they lost about 7,000. Equipped with its own vineyard and chapel, they rented it out as a wedding this venue right and an Airbnb. But according right. to a search this warrant, it also doubled as a stash house situations. for a, a small people, fortune in makeup stolen from major retail stores across the country, like Sephora and Ulta. This is a top priority for me, primarily because of the safety and security uh, risk that it brings to our team. Ulta CEO Dave Kimball spoke to CNBC's Courtney Reagan about the wave of theft hitting retail stores. The network that she had built across the country uh, was impacting multiple stores and so by eliminating that it's a step. But unfortunately I know there's others that are out that are just like that. 53-year-old Michelle Mack and her husband have pleaded not guilty to charges of conspiracy, grand theft and receipt of stolen property. Michelle is accused of working with as many as 12 women, providing them with a list of items to steal from stores across the country, like this Lens Crafters in Claremont and this Ulta Beauty in Mira Mesa. According to the search warrant, the goods were sometimes mailed to this Bonzo post office and would end up for sale at discounted prices on an Amazon storefront called Online Makeup Store. Stefan says with online stores and marketplaces becoming the new place for criminals to sell stolen goods, there have been some positive steps toward cracking down, like the recently passed Informed Consumers Act, which requires online marketplaces to get information from high volume sellers to help ID stolen goods. But she says there are still loopholes that need to be closed in some person to person marketplaces like Facebook, as well as making sure Prop 47 is reformed so repeat offenders are properly punished. Omari Fleming, NBC7. <laughs> this guy like why are you walking up in somebody's house like are you crazy there's a lot of mental people out here why are you walking up to my doorstep only with if, if, if you're not supposed to be around what's up guys who's that you're putting yourself over here huh oh who was you you're not bad you're not bad you're not bad so you're the original you know G.O.D. I'm a concern about this I you to come home with two idiots in the house. Look at these guys. Like, what are you doing with this place? Good job. Can't get this job. Do something. 
messing with yourself instead of putting yourself in this type of situation. Like, what are you doing? Like, what are you... When your dog saves the day. Buying those stolen goods. I don't know who is, but I'm not me. You got no sale over here on those stuff. Damn. And you're going to crawl through people. All of this stuff raises trauma. People are scared. And people... And look. You got to be protected of your of your place, too. You got to get cameras up. Not only cameras, but those windows. You got to be secure. Be very careful. In this situation right here, this was a pet that scared them off. So if you have, like, a dog or something, yeah, that could work, too. I don't think pets can help you out. Look at this idiot. Look at like, what are you doing? What do they have in their house that warrants you to go into the house like that? Then they got a million dollars in there. security camera alerted him to this he says a stranger trying to force his way in through the front door but the owner didn't just call police he raced back to his staten island neighborhood and tonight news force jackie beckford walks us through what happened next saturday morning a security camera captured this man at the front door of a midland beach home I got a doorbell alert from my Sloman's video camera. The homeowner, who just wants to be identified as Chris, was heading to Brooklyn and says his camera is often triggered by passing buses. Sometimes I don't even check. But boy, is he glad he did this time, just in time to see the stranger rattling his doorknob, then heading toward his backyard. Immediately, I call, I call 911. I tell them, hey, I believe somebody's trying to break into my home. He also told them something else. Yeah, I had told the police on uh, the, when I called 911 that I was going to engage with him. And when Chris found the alleged burglar i saw him standing in my backyard using my bag to put my belongings in it yeah, it's crazy he says the man identified as seth flint had gained access to his house via the back door i snuck up behind him we got into a little scuffle that little scuffle leaving flint bloodied and bruised seen here on chris's cell phone video picking up his shoe chris says that's when flint fled down the block i was following him for about two blocks then turned flint into police Though overall crime is down in the city, burglaries in the 122 precinct are actually up 41% so far this year compared to last. I've had like my car broken into before. Uh, it's just like... Uh, You're just fed up. Yeah, it's just, it's, it's just uh, an invasion. You know, it just feels like somebody's violating you know your property proud of the one bedroom home on midland avenue he bought just over a year ago chris says he's ordered even more cameras to protect it my little bungalow is going to be uh, the safest house on Staten Island. well flynn faced a judge yesterday on those burglary charges and was released on his own recognizance with a temporary restraining order he's due back in court next month we were not able to reach his attorney don't shoot me my son is in here a blast at home and not in a good way. Everybody got onto the ground. My son just stayed there, like, right here on the couch. How just old is your son? Seven. Grabbed him, and I ran straight to the bathroom. 26-year-old Ansley Pacheco took Seven News on an exclusive tour of the hell that ensued for her family in their Northwest Miami-Dade house two weeks ago. He started shooting at me. They shot at me about seven times, six, seven times. A home invasion on the fourth of this month. Do you consider yourself lucky to be alive right now? Yeah, I do. Here's how it began. As a guest pulls into the driveway of the Northwest 86th Avenue address, two men are seen rushing the SUV. That driver, the family's guest, is forced inside by two robbers as a group in the home watches the heat in the NBA Finals. Two men with guns order everyone to the ground. This as Pacheco, who is in the bedroom, grabs her pistol. I said, don't shoot me, my son is in here. Don't shoot me, my son is in here! You can imagine a mother's fear as she's inside of her room, which is being riddled with bullets. This door is brand new now, the glass replaced because it was shattered when bullets came through. But the bullet holes remain elsewhere, including in the closet door, in the bathroom door, on the headboard of the bed, and on the television. Yeah. 
Her husband and another rush in after the crooks fired their shots throughout the home, fortunately missing everyone. Those robbers stole watches and jewels from the group, fired, and then ran. But the man of the house, Daniel Pacheco, shot at the invaders as they sped off in a getaway vehicle. Screams and shock fill the house in the aftermath on a night of terror. But one where somehow nobody got hurt. My worry was my husband and my son. Honestly, I wasn't scared. I wasn't even, I just, it's just my reaction was to get the gun and, and to defend. They could have killed me. They could have killed my son. They were shooting right over his head. They didn't care. This surveillance video police say shows a well-orchestrated trio on a smash and grab jewelry heist. It started when one man rang the bell here at Facets Fine Handcraft Jewelry in Park Slope. Once the owner buzzed him in, she says he held the door for the two other men. After they walked in, the shorter guy sprinted as to like almost like a happy sprint and pulled out a hammer and um, said, this is how you use a hammer and started bashing the, the showcases. The guy holding the door yelled, what the f are you doing? Don't move, I'm going to shoot. In less than a minute, Sule says the men got away with at least $2 million worth of jewelry. Police are now looking into whether or not the same men are responsible for smash and grab at Ray's Jewelers just days before in Midtown. Police have released video of four suspects wanted in a break and enter investigation in Scarborough. Police say the suspects entered a backyard in the Beach Grove Drive and Coronation area just before 2.30 a.m. yesterday and attempted to get into that home. Two of them can be seen with hand guns. The suspects were unable to get into the house and fled the area in a silver four-door sedan. Anybody with information is asked to call police or Crime Stoppers. Okay, when it comes to the businesses, um, you know, I don't feel as, I do feel a certain way about the businesses because when the businesses get broken into, the community loses in the end, but mostly concentrating on the home invasions, when you go into people's place and they have no choice to protect themselves, you can lose your life playing with the wrong people. So, hey, you know, the outcome is always the outcome. But you got to be safe out there and be careful of the things that you put on social media. People will hunt you down. Until next time, it's your boy Mickey Fenty, a.k.a. Mickey Made It. If you're new to this channel, you know what to do to this channel. Subscribe.